unclear where the Palm Wang guitar rhythm originated from. But what is clear to us is that it started along West Africa's coast side. If you can recall history, we had the Caribbean, we had the Spanish, we have the Portuguese coming into West Africa. They were merchants, they were into buying and selling. So they landed in the Senegal. Yes, that's how come we have S.E. Rogers evolving. And then Liberia, and in Nigeria. And these people carried guitar along. And so their shipmates were the luckiest. They lent their guitars to their shipmates. And they started introducing some new styles because of the various colonial masters they met. They had various styles. So the Pamuan guitar style is a fusion. You know, it's a hybrid kind of thing. You can get Latin, you can get classical, you can get so many other genres within the Pamuan style. But its unique name, the Pamuan, came from West Africa. What is Pamuan guitar style? or Pamuan guitar music. A distinctive hybrid folk sound that originated in West Africa around the 1920s. I cannot talk much about how it evolved in, the, in other countries in West Africa. But because of my affiliation with the legend recording, I can say a lot more about what happened in Ghana. By the kind courtesy of Professor John Collins and Konimo, we are now up to date. We are now well informed of what happened from the 1920s here. The song initially was being played just uh, along the sea and later on it became, it, it was introduced to the public domain. So everyone started playing it. So they played this song in the bars, some played it at festivals. So the song started getting popular appeal. We all of us know about the palm wine tree, a very important tree in our local setting. Even when I was growing up, somewhere in the evening, people would converge around a fire by the fireside and they would be expecting a very important man. This man is very important because he carries a pot of palm wine. The songs they used to sing, the songs they sang around the fire are palm wine songs. They would usually have the calabash hidden somewhere in their back waiting for the palm wine pasta. And when he finally emerges, A becomes joyous. So those with the guitars and then the uh, other traditional instruments will play to entertain the audience around. So we say in San Jasse, in San Jasse, a Jasse, a place where we drink. So palm wine in Ghana is called San Jasse music. In San Jasse music. San Jasse music. Before the coming of these merchants into Africa, we had our local instruments, the Sepriwa, the Prim Prinsua and the others. And music was played. But in Ghana, three itinerant musicians evolved around the 1928. And they recorded the very first version of Yam Ponsa, a palm wine style. These, these legends were Jacob Sam, Ekor Kanta and Baini. So Sam is one of the grandfathers of the palm wine guitar style in Ghana. His relative, Ekor Mensan, also took on the guitar and later on he became the master of the Kwao guitar. Now, I'm not giving you history, but it's important you know these things. So we keep tradition. Because the tradition must go on. Yes. This is all we have. This is what we have as Africans. The tradition must go on. So you and I should preserve such a beautiful tradition. <music>
on nation building, on so many other important things. There were a lot of sense in the lyrics as compared to the lyrics we have these days. Or oh, have I said something wrong? No. They made sense. If you think I'm lying, we're listening to Jacob Sam, we're listening to Ikiamen uh, Sam, listen to those, the old, the, the old time musicians, and you will understand what I'm saying. Let, let me not take you being far, far away. Just go to Kumasi and listen to my father, Kolimo, and see the wisdom in his lyrics. But one guitar music is a good music, and it is down to earth. It's danceable, people can eat that person or dance to it slowly. People can sit down and listen to proverbs, listen to adages, listen to uh, old stories, and listen to history with Pamuan guitar. Yes, Pamuan guitarists in those days will carry their guitar along for little, little money. For some talking. Yes, for instance, for instance. You see, you can enjoy wherever you are. These were interesting songs. Yes, the rhythm is beautiful. This is why I want to take my time to introduce you to the second characteristic. The second characteristic is about the chords. Some chord progressions will readily set you into the palm wine mood. Take, for instance, these chords. I want to take this opportunity to clear this perception about the kapu. People have the perception that once you use kapu, then you don't know how to play. But I think it's a wrong perception because Kenny Rogers uses kapu. The country musicians use it, Konimo uses and many legends use it. The reason is not because you can't play, but the reason is because you want to be free to play. So the kapu will serve as a support in a way. Another interesting characteristic of the kapu is that it makes the strength shine. Yes, if you play the open string compared to when it is coupled, you will see those, the one kapu has a brighter sound. It's true, every guitarist will testify to that. So, this is why I'm using the kapu and I'm in the key of B. are very important. What makes palm wine palm wine are the dominant seven chords, the diminished seven chords, and the little 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 shots and flags sometimes we add to them. So diminished seven chords, dominant seven chords, and major chords are the main chords in palm wine. The picking style is also an important. Why? Because in palm wine, we use only these two fingers. We use the P and I. We use the P and I. The legendary Konimo will always say, learn the rules and violate the rules later. So learn the correct style is P and I in shuffling. And this is this shuffling or picking is one characteristic of palm wine, the picking style. Because it's, it's a fusion, it's a hybrid. We have, you can have the feel of the Latin, you can have a feel of classical, you can have a feel of uh, the blues and some other genres. So it is a unique style. This is it, with only P and I. 
and I've had D dominant seventh chord. Very unique. P and I will play the second and the fifth at the same time. Then P alone will play the fourth. Then I will play the third. Then P will play the fifth again. Then I will play the second. Then P will lastly play the fourth. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. picking style. But I'm not going into the style too much because I'm only going into elements of Pam one guitar styles. So these are going to be the set of chords I'm going to teach you today in order to set you into the Pam one mode. The moment you learn these chords as they are and you learn the progressions as it is, you will readily play Pam one. The first chord it is D and the D seven uh, G minor minor seven without the first string. Then second inversion of C and J7. Then second inversion of D and J7. the plagal cadence or the almond cadence and here is another set B B7 first inversion B B7 J no E minor 7 diminished 7 Then A seven chord. That's all. like the feet. This is very, very also, this is a unique style in the palm wine. So the dominant seven chords are very important, are very important in palm wine guitar music. Yeah. 
slowly. I'm not going to teach. I'm only telling you the elements. But I will include the chords for you in case you want to learn this song. Only one song. Just follow, just follow along. We have the bells, the banana bells, and we have about two or three acoustic guitars. And the style, the unique style of picking, is also an element, a factor. Then, tempo sometimes counts too. Usually, because it is played for the for the for the agent, we, 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 we would prefer mid tempo. I'm Pastor George, aka G Sprite. In case you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please do, because you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs>